For years, my fans have asked me, lover fella, do more arc. Do it every single day. Don't ever stop arc. Eat, breathe, and sleep arc in dinosaurs. And I said, no. I said, I have a better idea. And today, I think I have what may be the greatest idea in gaming history. I have an idea so powerful, so majestic, so beautiful. <laughs> It'll bring a tear to your eye. Let's rewind. Two days ago, I was playing this game in my free time. I was placing down random buildings, and I was thinking to myself, wow, this is exciting, but how could I make this park building game more exciting? How? And I said, I know what I can do, but it wasn't good enough. My idea in my head wasn't good enough, so I took it to the next level, and I decided that I would create the weirdest park in the history of the world. Now, that's a long time. The world goes back a long, long, long time, so that's just how you know I'm serious about this. I have an idea today that will not only creep you out and make you think of me as a different person, but will leave a mark on your life. Today we are making a park for furries. I know what you're thinking. Lover fella, first off, what is that? Let me explain to you. A furry is someone that's it's, uh, in love with people that dress like animals. So what we're going to do today is pull people in and then woo them over with our mass amount of furries that walk around this site. Now it is the weirdest concept I could think of. It's so weird. It's so weird. So what we're going to do today is not even make a theme park. This game has options to build a theme park like things. We're not even going to do that. All right. We're going to draw them in with the food because people are going to come here to eat and to hang out with their favorite alligator and their favorite furry. And I want at least a three to one ratio, at least three furries for every human being in this park. And I think at that rate, we will have successfully created arguably the weirdest planet. That's what just came out of my mouth right there. Oh, look at this little flower, guys. I can just place that anywhere. That's really exciting. I would like a nice little flowery entrance here just to place. A oh, it, it even grows in. I did not see that coming. So that's fantastic. A nice little feature right there. But let's let's start increasing the amount of people. So we're just going to build these really quickly here, guys, off camera. Dramatic montage, go. Now, without getting demonetized, I'm just going to say we're probably going to need a little bit of janitor action in this place. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to be pooping a lot from all the burgers they're eating. We've got a nice amount of stores. You can hear the people rumbling in the background with this beautiful, like whatever they're saying. It's actually, it's, the headphones are so good that I'm wearing that I, I actually feels like there's people in my room. So there could, are there? No, there's only three people back. I don't know how they got back there. Those people aren't supposed to be behind me, but we've got a video to record today. Okay, so we've got an- oh, this is so weird. Okay, so we've got some raptors. Let's change the color. This is a Loverfella theme park. Obviously, the Loverfella colors are red and white, so we gotta do that. But let's switch it up, all right? Let's get some white sharks in here, all right? Ooh, albino sharks. They're gonna like this. So I say at least- how much are we paying these people? I'm paying them $168- oh, $14 a month. Can you believe that? What a ripoff. $14 a month to walk around in a heated suit to be groped by random people that have a weird interest and you being dressed as an animal. To me, that's just not fair. To me, we should be paying them way more. No work zone, work where needed. That seems appropriate. Yeah, they're not going to get a work zone. They're going to work where needed, and that's that. And I also think what we need here is perhaps a training room just to train our staff on the proper ways to engage our furry friends. <laughs> Let's give them a staff room too. They might need some breaks here. They might get a little bit tired from the amount of work we're giving them. Now, we're going to invest heavily in staff training here. I believe that's one of the most important things to have a successful business. Uh, yeah, we've got three, four staff buildings to train them and only one rest area. So they want to rest, but they, they got to get trained. That said, this city makes sense, man. I don't even care. All right, so robots, I'll make a few black robots just to keep it even. So those aren't really black though. They're kind of gray. That's okay. We'll get a couple of these out here. I don't know how we increase the price because 14 a month to dress up as a robot and a dinosaur is just not a lot. And what, what does this mean above their heads? What is this little thing right here? Okay, the park's slowly getting louder. We're starting to outnumber our people significantly. I hate to do this. I really do. It, it just feels like not in the spirit of this series right now. What we're going to have to do is actually probably install a ride here. I know guys, I didn't want to do it either, but I just think it's one of the best ways to get people to come in. A carousel. That's a nice, simple, easy ride. There we go. Oh my gosh. There we go. Look at this. Now people are start flooding in. Can I make this place free too? Like how do I change the freaking price? Okay. We have 16 guests in our park. I got great fun fantastic funeral or er, funeral. Yeah, this is a funeral. Uh, what, what is this thing called? A festival? A fair music? I don't know, dude. It's freaking loud. Oh yeah, right. I changed all my mic settings so I can't even turn the volume down. So I have to listen to this. That's wonderful. I love that. I really do. So, okay. We got that taken care of. What is it? A little bit of water? Can I wait? Whoa, hold down shift to raise water. Oh, what the heck? Did I just make my entire park underwater? I did not think that was possible. Wow, we just turned it into an ocean. I really don't know how that happened. That, that surprised me even a little bit there. You would not have expected that to be an option. Maybe, can we remove that? I. 
I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty freaking cool. Oh, leaves. Oh, leaves. Can I do a little bit of leaf action here? I am way too excited. Wow, look at that, guys. It's fall suddenly right down here. What else can we do? We got leaves, we got dirt, we got dead grass, ash, snow. Oh, I think ash is the way to go. Just because I'm dead inside at making this because it's so creep. Ooh, I don't like that. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is go with sand. That seems to be the most like friendly environment. I think people will like that. Oh, that looks good. That looks real good. They're gonna like that a lot. Okay, very, very clean setup here. Our entertainers are all over the place. Let's see what our fans are thinking while we're walking down. What's what's on your mind, buddy? Nothing? You're just zoning out? What's on yours? The park entrance fee is a good deal, and beep beep, the robots are taking over. See that, guys? She's communicating with her furry, which means we've done exactly what we set out to do. So whoever that lady was, congratulations. Christopher Herbert, what are you thinking, buddy? Candy is worth the money. He likes robots. A cute raptor. Did I say they were into these people? Looks like this guy came here for the right reasons. Oh my goodness, this is just fantastic. Although he was upset they didn't carry resources, a different path, so I'm gonna go ahead and make an employee path here. So only employees can walk on this. I think it's a one-way path, actually. It's kind of weird. So now, now if you're an employee, you literally have to walk all the way around the park and you can't take the shortcut. It clears it out a little bit. That way people don't get overwhelmed by the amount of furries. A scarecrow? That's a little bit exciting. We've already done red. I think cyan is a fantastic color. So let's see what the scarecrow... Ooh, it's just a little yellow choker on the neck and that's a little bit surprising as well. I wouldn't expect scare scarecrows to be wearing chokers. Oh, look, this is so much easier. I can just click and place it right here while I talk to you guys. So we're just gonna hire a couple scarecrows right here. We're up to 1,500 a month in scarecrow. My finger's getting a little bit sore. Just gonna switch on over to the other one. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, of course, as always, lick your screen. But more importantly, make sure you watch another one after this because we got a whole channel of awesome videos like this. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just like that. Just keep going. Oh, man. Tell you what. That's not what that probably looked like on there. Oh, look what we just did. We got so many that can't even fit in the park right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not what I had expected at all. Okay, this is the park. What is this? What are you doing, Barbara? Barbara Robinson, get in here. It's not break time no more. Are you leaving my park? I hired you. I swear, if you leave, I'm paying you $14 a month. You get back in there right now. Can't take some of these people seriously, man. You think you give them a great job, and then they leave, and they do that, too. All right, let's get a couple more in here. Last but not least, let's get some white knights in here. Huh? <laughs> get it? Because that's the thing, right? All right, we're just going to go ahead and do this. Makes you wonder where they're going, because I just don't see them popping up, but that number is getting harder. Okay, we just hired another 200, so we basically just doubled our total number of entertainers here. So, um, where are our knights at? Oh, wow, they're all outside just funneling in right now. So we are now getting attacked by knights, and this is looking like the furry convention that I had in mind. How did I come up with this idea? Why don't you ask me that? I'll answer it for you. I have no clue. I really just thought of this in my bed one night, and I was like, this is a great idea for a video. Okay, so with that said, how many guests do we have right now? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna make it free, dude. It's now free to come in. Please come enjoy yourself at the Loverfella Park, the furry park, the park. To end all weird parks. Nothing can top this park. I really don't think that they can. Guys, let's just take a minute here and just observe the beauty that we created here. We got square balloons. We got white sharks. We got white knights. That's so funny. We got scarecrows galore. We got just dancers. I mean, we got people dancing on top of people dancing. It really is a lively, lively crowd here. I really am quite happy with that. Look at the sharks, though. They're just all, all trucking on through there. Now, the last thing I want to do is actually break this path. Yes, sir, I do. Okay, well, I wanted to break the employees only path, but it's not letting me do it. Guys, if you enjoyed this really stupid video today, then please check out the video right here to hang out with me some more. Or check out this one if you want to hang out with me on a different video. Or click on them both. Love you guys. As always, spread the love. See you tomorrow. Peace.